Hey everybody, I'm back again. I told you I'd be back in a day or two with a flip through of the happy hand lettering book I just got. So please leave any questions or comments below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and what? Subscribe. Hey everybody, it's Yo-Yo here. Knock, knock, I'm home. Well, I wanted to stop by and give you a quick flip through of my new happy hand lettering book that I got as happy mail this week from my sister. Let's just get into it. This is the happy hand lettering book by Megan Taylor. Okay. My sister sent it to me. I never heard of her, never knew about this book until I got this book in the mail. So, um, I just wanted to just give you the highlights of it. So I've already kind of tagged where I want to go at. So we'll just hit the high points here. Okay. So let me just Move it down just to make sure I'm centered and you guys aren't missing anything there. Okay, so this is the lady herself, Megan Taylor. So this is her book and it's a hardbound book. This is a high quality book. Okay, this is not some chinky chink book that's going to fall apart. So I just want to let you know you're going to get a great book if you want to get into hand lettering. Okay, so that's her. I'm just going to go to gives you a table of contents that goes through everything, the supplies you need of the setup, the process, everything. This is a very, very detailed book. So if you're looking to get into hand lettering, I think you will not go with, wrong with this. I started to look through it before I started to tape, and I want you to know I was like, geez, this thing's going to teach me everything about hand lettering. It's taught me the difference between hand lettering and calligraphy. So um, just to get into it, it's got to just get started part. We're just going to flip to that. Okay. Gives you the definition of hand lettering. It says you don't have to have good handwriting to have happy hand lettering. Now that I want to live by because I really just do not like my handwriting. I mean, I cannot stand it. So, I mean, it's, I'm quite sure a lot of people feel like that, but I'm just one of those people that really I'm not happy with my handwriting. So hand okay here we go hand lettering is not quick so slow down have fun i like that because i want it to be joyful i want to be something that i look forward to writing in my planner when i get into it so um they give you a lot of practice pages so you don't have to worry about that you can i'm actually going to make copies okay but i wanted to just show you the step-by-step -step process so you can see what you need and how she kind of takes you through the whole thing. And then she takes you through it in detail. So I like this, okay? So, and she talks about hand lettering is not a font, it's a technique. I love that. I never even thought about that before, but look at this. This is wonderful. Handwriting is, is not small. So it tells you how to start out small right there and then get taller. So that I love. Okay, when in doubt, fluff it out. So, look at that. Too small, just right. And then it shows you how to fill it in. Okay, keep the party going. Handwriting versus hand lettering. Can you see that? That you can tell there's a difference there. Okay, and then this is where they get into the practice pages. They give you plenty of practice pages in this book. So, I think you're going to be. And then it gets into the supplies, okay? Don't go spending your money on a ton of stuff. And let me just tell you right now. Yeah, I got all these markers, but I'm going to tell you right now. I bought these crayon markers because of the tip. They said this kind of tip you need. And let me just say, I bought these the other day at Office Depot. They were buck fifty. okay? Now, these were a little bit more, but I got multiple colors in those. But these right here, you need a fine tip, Sharpie points. So I got that. So hopefully, you know not to go by. It'll tell you exactly what you need, okay? It gives you a whole list of supplies that you need to buy. So, you know, kind of stick to the list. And actually, there's other things I could buy, but I'm not going to. So let's just jump to the pages I flagged because I don't want to be going through the whole thing. We'll be here for like an hour, okay? It's a three-step process. She talks about how you draw it, then you draw a parallel line, then you shade it in. So it's a three-step process, and I think I can do it, okay? There is one letter that intimidates me, but I'll get to that later. Everybody's got something that intimidates them about their handwriting, and especially this lettering thing, which I'm new to, something intimidates me. So it gives you a whole section of practice pages, which I'm just going to make copies of these at work. So that I'm gonna work on. So here, 
her favorite alphabet, lowercase. I love lowercase. Lowercase to me seems like it's so easy. You just do this and you're there, right? I feel good about that. So, and this I love letter by letter with instruction. It actually tells you how to start your letters, how, where to start at. You start here, you go around and curve up. That to me is just so simple. It's just the whole thing of practicing and getting into the habit of making those type of ways to make your lettering. Okay. Look at this. How to do your I, how to do your T, your R, where to start it at, how to loop it around. And they've got ones that you just trace over in this book, which I think is perfect. So you don't have to worry about you having to freelance it yourself. You can just trace. Okay. Then they talk about ascending and this is like this one's too small but then when you get into it this one's just right how she's kind of filled it in with them with a pen or a marker so that i love that i love so yeah and then she gets into the advanced alphabet um swirl signature swirl look at this See this? Lowercase. I feel good about lowercase, okay? Lowercase, okay, it's my friend. But when we get into the uppercase, and you know what intimidates more than anything on this whole page? This M. I'm scared because it's just too many swirls for me. It's just too much, okay? So that, if you're wanting to get into hand lettering, I think this Megan Taylor book is the thing to have, okay? Tells you how to do embellishments on it. This is beautiful. The swirls. That's nice. Even shows you numbers, punctuation, symbols, everything. So she has got it down to every possible way you're going to do hand lettering, okay? So I love this. So print versus script. So that print. And then script, so that's really cool. Okay, how to print alphabets to excite the capital letters, that's cool. I love that. That, I, I feel good about this. The lowercase, yep. Got more practice pages. She's got a ton of practice pages in here, so you can just make a ton of copies. Uh, tips on how to change it up, so how you take a simple A or B, and change it see how you change it into something else then you change it into something else so you can make it enhance it enhance it enhance it so that's pretty cool so mm -hmm. crossing at a different height i like that i like that see how she's changed it three different ways the b's three different ways the m's the j the y for yo yo how to mix it up so how you mix it up, and this one's really cursive and filled in, and then that one, that is nice. How to mix the fonts. So that right there is as far as I'm going to take you. She's got some projects in the back, which I won't get into because, I, like I said, I'm not going to keep you here long, but I just want to give you a quick look at this. Please let me know if you have any questions about this. Please leave a comment and let me know if you have this book, how you're liking it. And if, you know, if it's something you're looking at considering doing because you saw this video, I would greatly appreciate it. I want to thank everyone that has come to check out my videos. And please, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. And if you haven't, please consider. So I will see you next time. Have a good one. Hey everybody, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at YoYo Finds. And please leave any questions or comments below. And don't forget to what? subscribe.